Peace and love, family. It's date night, and I decided to rock a little colorful top and a cute little purse. I'm super excited about date night because we've been trying to make this a regular thing, and honestly, I'm really enjoying it. Just being out, somewhat dressed up, eating, just having a good time. It's always major fun for me. And you know what they say, <laughs> give me one margarita, give me two margarita, give me, give me three margaritas. Okay, let me stop, let me behave myself. But these margaritas are amazing and the food is always good. So we love this little hole in the wall spot that we have found. <laughs> and yeah we just shared some good times my husband had me cracking up of course can't take him anywhere I'm cracking up hooting and hollering because he is a hot mess sometimes always always a good time I cannot complain so yeah we enjoyed ourselves and we headed on home We had a super fun time and I really can't wait to do it again. So tonight I have a purse here that I just wore to date night and I wanted to show you my bag. It's a very, very, very dull pink, like a blush tone, slightly shiny, a little bit of sheen on there when the light hits it but it's very, very beautiful and also very feminine. These, these rings are used to connect this lovely strap, but I did not use the strap on date night, so I did leave that home. Now, there was a couple things about this bag that actually just attracted me to her. One, the shape is just so unique. Right. I'm not sure of the specific name of this style of bag, but it definitely reminds me of it's just something vintage, almost like a kiss lock purse. Like a mini doctor bag even. There's no feet on the bottom. Gold tone hardware. Yeah, I believe it's like a faux croc type material. And what I really, really love about this purse is how she opens up. So she has a very wide mouth, just like that. And she sits just like that. That's basically the overview. I like having this purse with me because like if I'm driving, I put her right in the passenger seat and I can grab and do whatever I need to do. It's very convenient because of this very wide mouth. So let's just go ahead and get in this girl. I have hand sanitizer. I have a small bottle of lotion. I have house keys. This time I did use my Dooney and Burke Kiss Lock purse. Um, this is the Kiss Lock coin purse in the, I believe it's honey is the color. And this is a suede Kiss Lock purse. I also did bring my tiny date book with me. I have this eyeglass case. This one came from the Dollar Tree and I liked it because it had the pink and the gold. So the pink for the bag itself and then the gold with this um, suede kiss lock. I like that combination. And that's the main compartment of this little purse. In the back, we have a zipper pocket I do have a girly good in there. I had one single Clorox wipe in there. And I had a nail file.
and that's in the back pocket. On the other side, the other wall slip pocket, I have the lipstick that I wore, which was LA Colors Lip Duo, very fun. And it has lipstick on one side and lip gloss on the other. And the color shows up very bright, very pink. But when you actually put it on, it's not that bright. So you definitely could work it out. I also had a pink Sharpie marker in there. I have a tiny post-it. And I have my flashlight. Now, as I was packing up my bag and thinking about doing this video, I was saying it really depends on who you're going out on the date with. That's going to determine what you bring with you in many cases, right? So I'm just going out for um, some tacos and maybe a margarita with my husband. And so I don't really need a whole lot. He's going to be doing the driving, hopefully the paying. <laughs> um, I just need the basics. But say if this was the type of situation where I'm meeting someone for the first time or, you know, I just don't know this person very well, the contents of my purse might be very different. Like I might just have some pepper spray or a protection keychain or I might have some mace, or I might have a blade. Like it really depends on what type of date you're going on. So this was just the basic um, things that I needed to run out and have a good couple hours with my husband. But like I said, it really depends on who's going on the date and with who are you going on this date. So that's gonna determine what you pack. But um, that's basically everything you all. Thank you for letting me share. I had a really fun time with my husband. Truly amazing that we still like each other after all this time. And it's great to have someone to just laugh and cry with, you know, when it, it's called for. So I'm just grateful to have this partnership through the good and the bad. Thank y'all for letting me share. And I will talk to y'all soon. Peace and love.